So guys, we are back on another episode of Rustomod, Mod, and in this episode, we're gonna try to get one of Lance's new cars running. So he is a good friend of the channel. You've seen him in a bunch of episodes. I'll put those links to the episodes that he's in right here. So in this episode, we're gonna try to see if we can get one of his new purchases running, and it's a pretty unique one. So let's check this thing out. This is the first time that I've actually seen it in person, so it's pretty sweet. All right, just pulled up to Lance's house and I'm seeing this thing for the first time. This thing is super cool. So I hope you guys like this thing. Definitely a unique one and we'll check this thing out. All right, Lance, what, what did you buy this time? I bought a 1971 Ford Pinto. This thing's pretty sweet. All the patina, look at that. Like, it, if you want patina, this is what you want. Yeah, it's pretty good patina. You guys look for perfect paint with your, your little magnets and your little paint machines. I look for this fit right here. I got this in North Carolina. I saw it on Marketplace and I had to have it. If I was gonna own a Ford Pinto, it had to be dark green and I had a half patina. And I think this is you know, yeah, pretty good. It fits the fleet. I don't know if you guys have seen all the other videos that Lance is in, but he's got the 66 F100 here and then he's got the Fairmont wagon here, which he's just getting ready to fire up again. Restored pretty much the whole thing. Restored in quotes, as restored as we usually do. Yeah. So this thing really fits the the look that yeah. Lance is trying to achieve here. Yep, you know me and my rides, I think you have an idea of like what's gonna happen to this car. Uh, so I'm pretty excited. I just wanna get it running as is right now, if, if we can. Um, I'm not gonna do anything with it just yet, but I think a will it run will be fun for this car. Uh, sticker over there says 93. So 30 years, um, okay. I'm gonna assume that it's been sitting. Um, so who owned it before you got it? I'm not sure the guy I bought it from. It had paperwork and it looked like a one owner car. Oh, wow. So that's I pretty think cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and it's got uh, some other stickers, Piedmont Tech. Sounds like a college. And it's a, the first year for the Pinto. So that's yep. pretty cool. So they've literally, they it came out with it, wanted an economical car. They said I had to have it. And have to have the green Pinto with the roof rack, which is, and they had My another favorite one. They had a light green Pinto as well. I uh, could have got us a package deal, but I didn't want that one. I wanted, I wanted this one. It's got the typical rust. I'm going to assume. I don't yeah. know anything about Pintos. Also, I know what I do know about Pintos is that the whole thing exploding is like a myth. Yeah, because I, I, everything is like that. Mustang, yeah. everything is. is like evidently, that. like only like six. I'm sure I'll get fact checked, but I think yeah. like only 16 exploded, um, and then the media ran with it, and then I think it just kind of ruined the legacy of a Pinto. But um, I, I, all, for a lot I've seen online, a lot of them rust here, and then a lot of them rust in this quarter panel. Um, I think maybe just the way the water runs down this channel, or maybe the way dirt and water, you know, kicks, kicks back. Yeah. But the rockers are completely solid. The floorboards are completely solid, except for like one small quarter hole in the uh, floorboard. Um, spare tire's got some rust in it. Uh, you know, spare tire, um, which I, I, anything does really. Uh, this is the worst part side but that's fine that's just for when you do burnouts yeah, the smoke exactly. and exit um but the good thing is our buddy mustang mike has a dark green pinto parts car yeah that this is pr i'm pretty sure it's completely solid uh, i looked at it the other day so i'm just going to cut that off i don't even have to worry about patina match here i mean it's, bit, it's been sun baking forever so the interior is pretty shot so if you have dark green pinto interior Hit me up. Yeah, let him know. Definitely needs it. It's it's crazy how similar this is. If you guys remember our Maverick that we had, that thing was kind of similar interior and kind of similar. I guess it's a little smaller. This is a little smaller, but the layout is very similar. 
Is it a four speed? It's four speed? Uh, yeah, it should be a four speed. That's cool. Um, and when I bought it, I, I mean, I bought it outside on scene, um, and the, the hood was uh, uh, not opening. So I had a buddy, my buddy Lou went down there, checked it out for me. He lived like eight minutes away from the guy. Nice. So he checked out the car for me to make sure it was, you know, it was good. Uh, so I appreciate Lou. Um, so I didn't even know if it had a motor in it, really. Um, we, we saw an oil pan. Uh, so got the hood open. And are you guys ready for this? This is a 1.6, 56 oh. horsepower four cylinder. Watch out. Dude, you know what would fit really good in here? A lawnmower motor. Yeah. <laughs> a Predator 212. A Predator 212 would work in there. Oh, a TDI. That would be perfect. Yeah. That would be really Oh, man, cool. a lot of them I've seen rust really bad where this battery trace at. Yeah, that's not um, bad. So it's only got this little hole, but like I've seen a lot, like this whole just fender was just gone. So, right. I think I got pretty lucky. Is that, that's not structural or is it, is this, because the frame's here. So. Yeah. Um, the, yeah, the frame is under that, but so it's just this like fender well. Right. Um, the frame itself is good. So like the runabouts, I remember we got fact checked in our one video about the Pinto. Yes. So we saw the, so someone said that all Pintos were runabouts, which is false. So whoever that guy is. That guy doesn't know what he's talking about. What he's talking about. <laughs> oh, so. Oh, look at that. Huh. Got a little rust down there, which is fine. That's fine. We'll put that um, stuff back there. I don't want to. You just have to scrape the mouse nest over. Yeah, I might keep good. that actually. I, I need yeah. a new pet, so. Right, yeah, yeah. Ecosystem in there. That's pretty sweet. Well, he just got this thing, and we're really eager to see if this thing will. Yeah, I didn't even clean it out. No, yeah. A tequila bottle from like probably 1983. <laughs> Um, an express march. Oh, you got an extra carb, extra yeah, intake. Carb right there, dude, they're still in there. Actually, this would if, probably start the car up. Dude, yeah. We'll dump that in the carburetor. It'll probably clean it too. All right, cool. Well, there's a quick walk around on it. Pretty cool. I haven't even really looked at this car at all. He just picked it up. So we're going to try to see if this thing will run. It's really funny. The fan is only two blades. <laughs> Maximum yeah. cooling back in the day. But it does spin over. And there's plenty of mouse nests, so I totally expect to be a mouse nest in this in, um, air filter. Yeah, that's fine. We're not even going to open that. Yeah. I'm sure you just put a battery in it, fire it right up. Put a battery in there. Lance to clean up the terminals. That's, that fits good. Even tighten. Let me get a, I guess. Do you have a vice grip or something? Yeah, sure. Josie's helping us today. She's really uh, getting her done, you know. Just don't work it on the side, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, good as factory. Make sure it's not in here. Clean the seats out straight from the no pedal. Oh, she's rock hard. Oh, all right. No, that's good now. Dude, it's fixed. I can drive this. Who's that? Oh, dude. Sure. Wait here, see if the lights work. Oh, you got two headlights. Dude, the running lights work. Does the back? Oh, the, the one side marker light works. Yes. Oh, this is too good. Cool. Well, it cranks. Lights work. What more do you want? Sounds good. She'll run, right? Yeah. It is. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's good news. Work. Cool. Let's just pop this off just to make sure they're not a mouse house. Sure, vacuum on there. Oh, it's good. Oh, wow. Oh, beautiful. Dude, this thing actually looks good. They're running there. This thing looks good. I'll have to ask if this was like. Hey, let's just pull it the whole thing out, okay. probably. Oh, it has a bolt back here. I'll get that. So, first thing we're going to check is the points here because. Just like every other old car that sits forever, it's all corroded. I don't know if you can see that very well, but 
the points are super corroded. So we're going to try to clean that up pretty good and then um, hopefully we can get some spark to the plug. We haven't checked spark yet, but I'm just gonna do it because it seems like everything we do recently just needs the points cleaned and it seems to run. So we're gonna do that first. So we cleaned off the points here. I'm gonna rotate the motor over to see if the points are opening. Oh, that's fine. No, it actually looks pretty good. It looks like the gap is correct. So uh, let's check uh, voltage there and then it'll, it'll run. It'll run. Okay, so we cleaned the points. We spun it over. It seems like it'll fire up pretty easily. So I'm just gonna try to spray some starter fluid down there and uh, see if it fires up. We actually checked the oil and the oil looks really new. So I kind of think somebody had this running pretty recently uh, with the carburetor and stuff in the back, but we'll see. So I'm gonna try to see if it'll fire up and see how it goes. No. Uh, I, I just tried to see if it would fire, but that's not firing, so let me just pull a plug out and see. All right, got the plugs out. They look all right if you can see that, but definitely need to be cleaned up. It had some weird, like, red stuff on it almost looked like atf i don't know if somebody had put that in the cylinders to clean it out not really sure but we're gonna see if it'll spark just with this out of the engine see if we're getting spark to it all right we clean the points again and i'm going to check for spark so crank it oh yeah so we're getting pretty good spark now put the plugs back in try to start it again all right, try it. All right, do it, do it again. All right, crank it. Do it one more time. All right, try it. Oh. Okay, I call that a, a run. Pretty cool. It actually sounds pretty good. It's pretty loud. Yeah. Um, well, the exhaust is like rusted off like right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. All right, so we're gonna try to hook a gas can up to it and then uh, run it for a little bit longer. All right, we got it running a little bit off starter fluid. Now we put a gas-filled bottle down here. Perfect place. It looks you, like that meme, you know, like when like someone just like touches your neck and you're like... Yeah. It's, like, it's at the perfect angle to see if it will suck up any fuel. We're gonna try to crank it, hook to the fuel pump, see if we can get this thing filled with some gas here. It's sucking gas. It is actually pulling it? Yeah, but it's it's just not filled the bowl yet, I guess. Yeah. Pull a lot of gas in that bowl. Alright, try. Try to get here, we'll try with no fluid. If you can see here, we got it to run a little bit, but the accelerator pump, the diaphragm is stuck, so it's not returning when you hit the throttle. So it's opening the blades and just killing it instead of shooting more gas. So we're going to try to pop the accelerator pump off, see what it looks like in there, and then see if it'll run once we put it back together. But the problem is it has a gasket here, so hopefully we can get it together without it ruining it.
Okay, so I we took apart the accelerator pump and if you can see now here, hit the gas, it's moving and before it wasn't, it was just bound up. So hopefully that is part of the problem. Try it again. Yeah, I don't know. Still doesn't sound like fuel squirting, but yeah, you try it. Oh wait, no, there's no battery. <laughs> All right guys, so we got the Pinto running. Carburetor definitely needs to be rebuilt. So we're going to try to hit this again, try to get a new carburetor in there and it'll probably run pretty good. It sounds pretty healthy motor. The oil looks pretty clean. Everything looks pretty good about it. So I think if we get a new carburetor on there and some fresh gas, this thing will probably run pretty decently. And it's a manual transmission. So I'm sure that it will drive and everything else. So then we got to tackle brakes and stuff like that. But We'll probably catch up with this Pinto a little bit later since this is Lance's project. He's got a lot of other stuff to build. So if you guys wanna see more of the Pinto, comment down below, let us know what you think about it. It's definitely a really cool, unique car and then not a lot of guys are building these on YouTube. So definitely wanna document this as much as we can. Comment down below, but thank you guys so much for watching and you'll see more Pinto episodes in the future. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Pinto and Lance's stuff. I'll link it down below. See you on the next episode.